We're post-COVID, but there's still low tide inequality, and it is still a matter of life and death. We went from one epidemic to another epidemic. We went from COVID to the epidemic of gun violence and the fear and the death that goes along with it. It's been all over the newspapers. It is undeniable. It's so bad that when you look at the recent numbers, more people are dying of gun violence than of COVID. People are dying every day out there. Time is not on our side. Begin by acknowledging the problem. And you know what the problem is? It is a statewide problem, and it is an emergency. And I want the people of the state to understand that. And I want them to respond to the emergency for the way it is. So today, first state in the nation is going to declare a disaster emergency on gun violence. We also need a comprehensive plan of attack. We're going to have seven steps. One, treat gun violence as it is, which is really a public health emergency. That's what it is, and that's how we're going to treat it. Second, target the hot spots where the gun violence is coming from. It's not coming from every community everywhere you can find out exactly where it's coming from and you can target it. Third, you have to have a positive engagement with the at-risk youth. You can't just say, no, don't do it. You have to have a positive that you're applying.